to get these online lessons started, I am going to have you build a, uh, a paper bridge. It's actually called a Waddell uh, A truss bridge. And uh, I did it just recently in my college class. Uh, we were looking at a lot of the uh, physics and uh, uh, geometry of it. Uh, we did a little bit of uh, calculus and trigonometry to go with it. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can sneak in a little bit of that with y'all at the end. Um, uh, but the main thing is, is, is you're gonna get a chance to actually build a, uh, a paper bridge. It's amazing how strong these things are when you finish. I, I was surprised with how strong mine was. So uh, let's see what we can do here. This is a real Waddell A truss bridge. Uh, it's over uh, Lynn Branch Creek in Missouri. And this is kind of what you're going to be building. Okay, let's see if we can find all our stuff. I have absolutely no idea where all my stuff is. Uh, let's go look. Oh, let's see. Need a uh, pencil. Um, honey, I found your uh, clothes tape measure. Oh look, it's got uh, millimeters on it also. Let's see, what else we got? Uh, I need some glue. This might work. Uh, some tape, yep. Uh, how about some regular glue? Can I find some regular glue? Oh, oh, there it is, regular glue. Uh, now I need to go find some scissors. Okay, let's see. Um, uh, Toolbox, purses, all that kind of junk. Um, let's see. Hey, scissors, here we go. Okay, I'm just working on a little folding table here. Uh, I've got my journal, but I know you don't, so that's gonna go away. Uh, I got some file folders. Um, uh, you know, just an old one. This one has been used many, 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 many times. Uh, you might need two of these if you can find them. Um, if not, uh, you can use a uh, uh, any kind of thick paper that you can find. Um, doesn't matter what the file folder looks like. And if worse comes to worse, uh, I'm going to do the exact same project with uh, spiral notebook paper. So uh, the thicker the paper you can find, the better. If not, I'm going to try to do it with uh, regular old notebook paper also. So... Um, you need glue. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work. I'm going to give it a shot first. Um, I have this glue, which I know will work better on the file folder. I think that this will work on the uh, notebook paper. Pretty good. Um, you're going to need a pair of scissors so you can cut. You're going to need a ruler or uh, a ruler, something with metric on it. Metric is the small side, not the big side. So we're going to start with the small side. So we're going to be doing this metric. Um, science teacher would be very proud of you. Um, I have a little small one too that I can use and I'll probably use this one a lot. Um, and uh, something that can be a long straight edge. I am going to use my file folder because this has a long straight edge. Um, uh, you need a pencil to write with. I guess you could use a pen if you had to. Um, just when you make mistakes, you're going to have to put a little X on them because it doesn't erase. And so you just put a little tiny X when you make a mistake. And um, uh, that way you know that's not the one you want. Uh, that's not the measurement you want. Uh, I said tape. I hope I said tape. Um, I found this one also. Um, this is for measuring clothes because my wife has it. Um, it has inches on one side and metric on the other. So if you need metric, this would work also. Anything that you can use to measure with. So that's the supplies you need. And uh, we'll, uh, uh, next take will be me actually starting to work on it. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off this piece here. I'm gonna try to make it as straight a line as I can. And uh, cut that piece off so that I have a straight edge to work with. If I'm not perfect, it's okay. I'm just trying to just 
trying to make it straight. Okay, so we're going to start with this edge, even though if you look really, really closely, it's not super because it's kind of old. Um, we're going to make a, uh, a tube out of paper. To do that, this is going to be a square tube. I'm going to start right at the edge and I'm going to make this 10 millimeters on a side. So I'm going to go 10, which is one centimeter. Oops, I want to make this as accurate as I can. And then 20 and 30 and 40. Okay, so now I'm going to come down to the other side over here and I'm going to do exactly the same thing because two points make a line. And I'm going to go here, 2, 30, 40. So now I have my four lines. I'm going to take my folder cover and, oh look, it's not long enough. Oh well, I will uh, make it work. I will make it work. Make sure you line up both of them and then you're going to draw your line. Booda 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 boo. And I'm going to go a little bit further. So this is going to be side one, two, three, side one, two, three, four, but I don't like this one. So this is going to be the overlap, E-R-L-A-P. This is going to be the overlap. So I really need another side. So this one is going to overlap because these won't fit on top of each other. Um, if I just do four sides, I really need a fifth side so that it overlaps. So there's one more and that would make 50 millimeters. Now, when you cut this, this would be number five. When you cut this, you're not gonna cut each one of these. We're not gonna, if you do that, you're gonna have to glue and it's never gonna work and it's gonna be horrible. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut just this last one. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna cut just this last one. And this will make one of those beams. So to do this, I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm gonna put it right on the line. And I'm going to try to bend this guy right on that line. Of course, I have a little short ruler, so I'm gonna have to do it multiple times. And then I end up with a bend that goes all the way down. And I'm gonna do this for all four sides. up with five little bends and if it folds over and then the second one folds over and then the third one folds over and the fourth one folds over oops I didn't do that one quite right I am so you're gonna sit there and fiddle with it until you're happy with what you got that'll work and now, when you fold it, it becomes a tube with one side overlapping. And so you end up with a tube, one side overlapping. And I'm going to glue this down in order to make it stay, because I don't want to sit there and hold on to it over and over. I'm going to use the tape as an extra set of hands. That way I don't have to sit here and hold it while it glues. 
If you don't have tape, you can hold it by hand. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna end up making five of these. You need five of them. So um, here we go, making five. Okay, so on this one, I don't have enough room to go all the way across. So I'm gonna take one of these little, it's got some little abbreviated lines here, kind of indentions. I'm gonna use one of those as my first, and I'm gonna cut it off there. That way I kind of know where I'm starting. And it's not 100% perfect, it's the overlap anyway. So it's not really gonna matter. So that's trash. And here we go. And this is not trash. We're gonna use this tomorrow. So don't throw this away. Keep this for later. So one, two, three, four and number five, and we need five of these. And that's your job today. You don't need to do anything more today. Don't lose these, and uh, we'll come back to them tomorrow once you have all five of them done. See you tomorrow. All right, so now we're gonna try it with regular paper. Uh, I've got an idea here. It might take us a little bit longer to, uh, to make the paper. I'm just gonna take my uh, spiral notebook here. I'm gonna take two sheets of paper and tear them out. Two sheets of paper. So I've got two sheets. So let's see if I can do this thing. Um, 
take my stick glue and I'm going to put glue right on the edge here. What I want to do is I want to make this paper thicker. So to do that, I'm going to make it two layers. I'm going to take this and I'm going to line it up just right. I can do it. And then press it down. Boop. And if it's not perfect, that's okay because we're going to end up cutting it off anyway. I don't think that's enough. It's going to have to go longer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it this way just a little bit and then glue more. And I'll roll it over and press it down. And I'm going to do it again because I want to make this two layers so it makes a little little thicker paper using up my glue but hey you know what it doesn't do any good if you don't use it so and you're probably gonna have to make two sheets of this type of paper and stop at the circles and there's my paper. Make sure you put the lid back on or it'll dry out. So I have one piece of paper that's been glued together and it's really two sheets of paper. And we're gonna go with that. Otherwise, it's exactly the same as I showed on the um, cardstock when I was doing it. So. <laughs> glue it together. I'm just going to use the stick glue again. And because this paper is very flexible, I'm going to fold it in half and press it down. Fold it back into my square tube. And there you go. And all you have to do is make five of them. Five, that's it. So one, two, three, four, five. So five, one, two, three, four, five. And don't forget to put the glue lid back on. And that's what you need. So that's all you need. Five little tubes of paper and um, hopefully you can get that done at least by the time you watch my video tomorrow. So there'll be a new video tomorrow. We'll see you later. Good luck.